Hi YouTube, um, today is November 5th, 2013. I'm making this video because um, a couple of weeks ago I made a video about um, me seeing my death and um, someone killing me. And um, <clears throat> this weekend something very spiritual happened and I know that it was um, something that I was supposed to pay attention to. Um, my husband and I were at the gas station and, um, and we were standing in line at the front of the register and uh, the clerk, um, met, I think she was ringing up our stuff or something, um, a guy walked into the um, store, he was Hispanic. He walked into the store, and I instantly could pick up on people's spirits sometimes. His was very dark. Um, I didn't say anything, and, um, you know, we just paid attention to what we was doing and tried to get out the store. And um, so the guy walked back outside, and he goes up to the window where the cash registry is. Um, and he's standing there looking in the window and he looks at me and my husband and he goes psh, psh, like he's going to shoot us. Um, I looked at him and he looked at me and it was like, I mean, well, me and my husband looked at each other and we was like, what the hell? Um, but, um, the guy ended up walking off or whatever, um, what I could think about it at that moment was that movie with Denzel Washington falling when the spirit of Azazel, um, supposedly one of the fallen angels who is a demon on earth, is possessing everybody, jumping into everybody they walk by. And, you know, that's how we kind of felt about that. Like, that was a personal message from the devil um, letting us know that, you know, hey, you know, fear me. <laughs> but um I'm I'm when it comes to fear and the devil and his minions, um I pray that the Lord give me strength and um the shadow of death because this is what this is and this is what it feels like. Um so that we can keep on and keep keep on doing what we need to do so we can make it out of here and that we won't fear death because we know that death is just um, the doorway to getting to where our Savior is. So, you know, um, but I really do believe that God is preparing uh, Christians in, the, in America for persecution that's coming. Um, if we're saved by Jesus, great, but if we're not, we have to be willing to um, lay down our lives for for what we believe in, which is our Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I'm so ready. Um, I can't even I can't even describe how ready I am uh, just for Jesus to come. It's it's the idea is scary um, to think that Jesus is gonna come in the clouds and just the whole supernatural experience is going to be scary and exciting at the same time but um i'm so ready for it i'm i'm completely tired of this world i'm tired of the things in this world i'm tired of trying to strive to be something that i can't because the devil not going to let me prosper here and i'm just i'm just so ready for jesus to come um but like I said, I think God is preparing us. Um, if you turn on the TV, you're seeing that people are being persecuted. Christians are being persecuted all over the world. Um, and it hasn't happened here yet. But, you know, it's coming. Um, sometimes I turn on the TV and I think to myself, man, I just hope that I'm wrong. I'm hope that I, I hope that I'm wrong about Obama. I hope that I'm wrong about everything. But... You know, the thing about it is, I don't want to be ignorant. You know, if the Lord is showing me something, then I have no choice but to believe it. And I know that the Lord has been showing me what's to come. And um, <clears throat> I just, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you today, please 
you know, ask him to come into your life and to save you, develop a relationship with him, you know what a relationship is. You have a relationship with all kind of people. You got friends, you got all kind of people. Jesus got to be in that same category. You got to have a real relationship with him in order to be saved. And, you know, that is one of my main concerns, um, not just with myself, but with everybody. Um, and that's, that's, I'm kind of a little moody right now. And that's only because I've been on Facebook today. Um, if you don't, if we're not friends on Facebook already, uh, you can go to Facebook and add me. My name is Alexandria Zeno on there. And, um, you know, I'll add you or whatever, but, um, on Facebook, you know, I'm tired of the sugary lip preaching. I'm tired of, um, I mean, people don't tell you what you really need to know. They say things to make themselves look good, just like preachers in the pulpit and everywhere else. They only concerned about their image and their prosperity. What God has for you is for you, and um, God will prosper you and all this other kind of foolishness. And my thing is, like, I'm just so tired of it. You know, it's like... You know, how about you come tell me what I really need to know. Tell me how I can escape the tribulation. Tell me how Jesus can save me. And I just, you know, I'm kind of in my feelings right now because I've been on there today and just people get me all worked up, you know. But um, I also wanted to share um, about another experience that's been going on in our lives, meaning me and my husband's life. Um, we've been trying to reach out to family. Um, we, we've had friends, but we pushed most of them away, um, by, uh, sticking with the word. Um, and that's probably for the best because I don't want anybody around me that's, that's not, um, seeing things the way I'm seeing them anyway. Um, but anyways, when it comes to family, you know, we've just been thinking we can reach out and maybe, you know, we can help them do, do this and, you know. Um, we took a family member. Matter of fact, this year we done took in about maybe three family members, and all three of them are gone. We had to pray. Um, it came down to us praying, saying, Jesus, you know, if there's any spirits in here that you don't like, then move them. And that's exactly what he's done. And and the way it come down to it, you know, we um, tell him about Jesus. We don't want to spook anybody out, but at the same time, we feel like time is winding up and it's so short that, you know what I'm saying, there's really not any room to, you know, you we got to cram. Like, like they, if you ever took a college course, they explain uh, what cramming is. Like, when you got to take a test and you try to cram all the knowledge in before you take the test. That's the time of the hour we're in right now to where we have to cram everything and this thing the thing about it is we talk about politics we talk about the return of jesus and this stuff freak people out like people don't including family mostly family they don't want to hear what you got to say they could be they could know your past and know the things that you used to do as far as you know the way that you used to do things the sinfulness of the stuff you used to do and looking at your life right now and know that you've made a complete turnaround but still reject what you have to say um the thing about that is it's just crazy but jesus already told us that you know hey you know i come to 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 divide you know i come to divide family turn mother against daughter-in-law and i am a living witness to that right now i just you know not just myself my husband um you know when it comes to family i believe that if i had family um they would try to have me committed or something because just the fact that I'm talking about Jesus in a way that their church is not talking about Jesus is like, you know, I'm crazy. I'm crazy because I believe that Jesus is coming to save us from what's coming. And, you know, don't nobody want to think negative, like, you know, that the world will end and all this crazy stuff. But, you know, it's just like, um, I just, only a blind man wouldn't see the sign. And, you know, God has given me sight. I see, you know, and, you know, not just myself, my husband. At first, you know, when we first got together, he was kind of like, 
you know, she crazy, but then Lord started showing him stuff, and he was like, he's like, you know, his eyes is like quarters now, you know, and, um, you know, I thank God for that, but when what Jesus said about family, he is 100% correct, and, you know, um, <clears throat> He said that the, 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 your enemies will be the people in your own household. And, man, when I say we've been experiencing that, like, <laughs> I can't even just, you know, just go into detail about most of the stuff, but just put it like this. Jesus divided us. Um, they didn't want to hear that kind of stuff about Jesus, you know. And, but you know, my thing is I talk about Jesus because it's a necessity, not because, you know, it's a pleasure to, to be considered crazy, but I talk about it because everybody needs to know we at the last few minutes of life, this way of life. And, you know, we need to get the word out and, and, you know, we concerned about our families. If anything, we're concerned about our families and, you know, um, my husband, you know, told me, he said, you know, I really didn't want to believe, you know, I was really hoping that wouldn't come true, you know, and I know that's a bad way to say things, but truth be told, we all look at the Bible in that perspective in some kind of way, dealing with our own sins and what we believe, um, but people like me, I'm here to tell you that every word that Jesus said is the truth and I'm a living example um so but I wanted to share that with you guys um another thing that I want to talk about um is the persecution of believers in America um Paul Begley did a video yesterday it was about a pregnant woman who was chatting with her hus her husband who was overseas and um, somebody was hiding in her house, came out and killed her. Um, her name was Rachel and she was pregnant. She was nine months pregnant. Um, I've been seeing, um, myself pregnant. I've been seeing myself holding a baby and I, that ain't nowhere near the truth. Um, all I can come back to is that my name is Rachel. Um, my mama told me when when I was a little girl, did she name me Rachel out of the Bible? Um, and anybody know the story of the Israelites? Um, Rachel, she gave birth to two very important characters in the Bible, and um, she's really considered as the mother of the Israelites. Um, um, she ended up dying, um, but you know the lady that Paul Begley was talking about or whatever she didn't die um but to God be the glory her child came out perfectly fine she's she's having to deal with her stab wounds and you know but she didn't die either but I mean that just just bring me back to the story of Rachel um you know, God protected her children. Her children are is 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 protected, just like we will be when Jesus come and save us and rapture us from what's coming. Um, but I just wanted to share that we all see things in our own way spiritually, and I just believe this is the way God want me to see things. I see myself pregnant, and I see Jesus coming at the same time, me giving birth, and I just know that all of this stuff is related. God want me to see something in it. And, you know, I'm just hoping that I'm seeing the right thing and not the wrong thing. So just pray for me. Um, pray that, you know, I see things the way God want me to see them and not the way I see them. Um, and I'll do the same for you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, just feel free to leave me a um, message. Please don't leave me no foolishness because I don't want to have to block nobody. I, my purpose for being on YouTube is to share the gospel. And um, not my gospel. Um, I share my testimonies of what I've been through. But I make sure that everything that I say line up with the word. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Add me on Facebook. Subscribe. It's your prerogative. Do whatever you want to do. Um, <clears throat> but God bless.